Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. We have a conference uh, on brain science which begins tomorrow evening and this evening we're excited to have one of the organizers having come in, flown in from Ireland to give a public address. Science is very focused now and so there's a lot of jargon and so you really need to be able to address things in a more broader context for the general public and even for a generous li generalist like me. It's just tough, it's very very focused now. But these experts are often Nobel Prize winners or future Nobel Prize winners. They're grad students who are working hard at the bench. They come here to Cold Spring Harbor to share their latest results, to get informal peer review, to form collaborations, to network effectively. You know, as humans, we can identify galaxies light years away. We can study particles smaller than an atom, but we still haven't unlocked the mystery of the three pounds of matter that sits between our ears. It is considered the last frontier of scientific discovery. Especially the so-called cerebral cortex is considered one of the most uh, complex uh, matter, certainly on this planet, some people say in the universe, uh, because it's the result of a very long uh, process of evolution. So it's quite different from liver or muscle or others. Uh, so that has been a very difficult uh, nut to uh, crack. We're organizing an international scientific meeting here, which is aimed at um, trying to get scientists together who work on genetics, neuroscience, psychiatry, psychology, to really talk to each other about how the brain is put together, um, what happens when it, that process goes wrong during the development of the brain and how that can lead to things like epilepsy, autism, schizophrenia and so on. There are some specific collaborations that have emerged between people who probably wouldn't have necessarily even met each other or don't really often speak the same language but that's really what we're trying to promote is uh, the development of a framework where we can start to see the, the whole logic of how the brain works, down from, from molecules and, and, and genes and cells all the way up to brain regions and systems and, and mental operations. And that requires a span of expertise from very many different disciplines. And so what we're hoping is to build up that kind of a framework, an, an overarching framework that, that integrates those different disciplines, which is a challenge because scientists generally these days have to really, really specialize in a very precise area. And so our hope with this meeting, which is a little unusual, is to get all those different people talking to each other. One of the things that we've learned recently is actually that a, a, a term like schizophrenia is not really one thing. It's really an umbrella term for many, many different conditions. And now we can use genetics to start to diagnose people differently. And, th and that matters. If they have a you know, mutation in gene A or gene B, that may make differences to how they respond to treatment, differences to prognosis, to risk for their relatives, and so on. So the clinical practice of psychology is going to become, I think, more like what you see in cancer now, where you don't just say someone has cancer, or you don't even just say someone has breast cancer. Nowadays, they get molecular characterization of that cancer in a very personalized kind of a treatment. So there, there's this enormous mystery uh, waiting to be unlocked. And the Brain Initiative will change that by giving scientists the tools they need to get a dynamic picture of the brain in action and better understand how we think and how we learn and how we remember. I think the um, President Obama's brain initiative is exa exactly the right thing to do because what we need are, are new tools to actually investigate the function of, of many different parts of the brain all at once because what we've had up till now is, is a way to look sort of piecemeal at individual parts of the brain but really we haven't gotten a big picture in integrating it and again it's part of the uh, theme that we're trying to do in this meeting that a brain initiative is exactly the way that, that we will be able to develop technologies to do that.